Today we're here to talk to spiritual director Susan Provo. Sue is the author of the popular blog site Let Your Life Sing and she's also the author of the much anticipated book Where is God in Your Life? Three Retreats in Christian Spirituality. Welcome Sue. Thank you for having me Kim. Your book Where is God in Your Life? Three Retreats in Christian Spirituality is there one retreat that speaks to your heart more? They all speak to my heart, but I think the first one is the most important because that establishes the identity of Jesus, why he came, what he said, how he was welcoming and loving to everybody. He came to people who were, who were not loved. What inspired you to write Where is God in Your Life? It's designed to bring people closer to God and give them the tools they need to have a, a relationship with God. I'm excited about the message, about what Jesus was all about, why he came, and that message of love is, I just feel it inside of me and I just want to share it with others. It seems that it teaches people to have that deeper, more profound relationship with God. How do you take people to that place in your retreats? This is about spirituality. It's about connecting with God specifically, and it really is personal. It's a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing, even though you may do it in a group. Sue, I was really excited about your section on prayer and the fun methods. Guided of... imagery is the fun one. And the, tell us about Dancing. that. Dancing. Dancing, singing. Um, there's, there's all kinds of ways to, to talk to God. You talk to God with whatever you have inside of you and whatever talents you have. You could be drawing a picture. You could be, you know, taking care of your child. It's all prayer. Life is a prayer. We learn canned prayers, you know, the, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be, um, the Our Father. But are we really understanding the words that we're saying when we say those? Most of the time we're just rushing through them. Prayer should be personal. It should be uh, at an actual conversation. It doesn't have to be, you know, anything specific. It can just be, oh God, I love you, or oh God, I need help, or oh God, thank you for this wonderful day. What do you think your retreats do that don't get accomplished in church? When you go to a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God, that's your, that's your spirituality, that's personal. So. Um, you can't always get that from Mass or Bible study. These retreats are specifically targeted to help one develop a relationship with God. If there's one message you want people to walk away with when they read your book, what would that message be? Everybody should know that God loves them and that uh, they can develop a relationship with God. To know that they're loved. God wants to have a relationship with us. Thank you so much for coming Thank today. You.